Hello and welcome to Magic AutoCAD. In this part of tutorial, we are going to learn how to do a spiral staircase. So the floor height here, or we call it the overhead of the stair, is 320. Then the number of risers, 20. And the height of the riser is 16. We call it the rise is 16. So let's get started. So let's switch before you get started please make sure your workspace is switched to 3d modeling and let's go back to the home icon by the time you finish this is how your staircase is going to look like so when you finish you're gonna have something of this nature so let's continue to see how to realize this We've already adjusted our unit and put two centimeters, so we shall work with centimeters. So let's go straight to the circle and uh, let's make a circle here and let's give a diameter of 210. 210. Enter. Yeah, it might be too big, so let's try to zoom. Yeah, so it's something of this nature. Let's select and move to the midpoint. Okay, let's select and move a little bit further in order to draw freely. Okay, then now let's go back to uh, the circle and click on the midpoint. Let's give another diameter of 30, 3, 0. Enter. That's good. <coughs> Then uh, let's go to the line command. I like us to make a line from the center point, a horizontal line, okay, at this external intersection. We click and escape. Let's now go to the trim tool, enter, and we trim this part. So from here, I would like us to go under modify. You're gonna see array command, then you click on poly array okay. click on this line enter then you click at the midpoint then you're gonna find this then this array is gonna open up here so you type in items number of items let's give 20 like I told you, you have 20 risers enter then you come over here to close the array but make sure your associative box is not checked okay then you close then from here i would like us to type in color let's give a color enter and let's select the red color then we'll move over to the line we click at this horizontal line we'll click at the end point and we'll bring over to the end Point. then select these two lines and you select the white line and you delete so that we'll be left with the red line so from here let's move straight to the southwest isometric view by using this home icon okay here yeah, from here move over here under the draw drop down the draw panel and you're gonna see the helix command you click on the helix let's make a helix here you click at the center of the circle and you bring it at the end point here then you click then you're gonna see a helix like this so you'll be asked to specify the radius and then click again at this end point okay and then you're gonna find something like this then now move down to the command line and you type in then and you type in turns click on turns then you type in the number of turns you type in one enter then move it upward stretch it upwards then you type in the height that should be height of the staircase that's two 10 enter so we have something of 
this nature yeah from here I would like us to go under draw and then you drop down here you're gonna see this multiple points okay you click down then you're gonna see divide yeah. or you just type in divide then you click here then you type and then you type in the number of division points 20 like I told you we have 20 rises enter then now they are not visible you can go to pt for point type enter then let's select a certain point type that will be visible we we'll select this one then okay so here you're gonna have your point types now let's turn a bit a bit and keep it here let's move now to the press pool before going to the press pool command I'd like us to give a color okay color enter then let's give let's select this color 30 okay then now we we'll move to press pool then you press pull the first you click on this note then please i would like that before you continue clicking like that you should turn on your snap point okay make sure not is check okay make sure not is check very good then you press pull the second one but not just like that Okay, we we'll orbit. Yeah, I just want to really take my time so that you will understand. So what? Uh, so let's turn off the grid. Snap. At this point, I would like us to put it to shade the Lego to visually, and we'll put it on shade it not not to confuse then we continue and the last one we click it at this end point good so if you're trying to obey it we'll have something of this nature so we're gonna have something like this very good then so let's keep it at then remove the grid go back to extrude to press pull sorry now pull it upward to somewhere here pull it upward to somewhere here very good I like us to put this into wireframe then let's select this notes and delete okay we select the notes then we delete very good so I like us to pick this line as well. Move. Let's move it out of this staircase. And uh, we go to let's use the Boolean command. We go to union. We select on union. Then we select all of these and enter to give our union very good then let's put it back to let's turn orbit then let's move back 
this helix to its position okay we move it here at this point very good let's give a shirt to our work then from here let's make an orbit here very good then let's go up here to coordinate we drop down and you click on front okay so that this uh, x y axis will be parallel to this red line because we are about to draw a rectangle from here let's give let's go to the rectangle then we come here we click at this end point okay and let's move it this way and downwards then let's type in 90 90 comma minus 40 enter okay we're gonna have something like this and let's click this rectangle to move it upward let's move it upward to a height of 16 1 6 enter so we have something like this then I would like us to give a color enter then now let's select I would like us to select this color then from here let's go to the extrude then we select this rectangle enter to extrude so let's come back to the command line to follow a path so the path is going to be this white line we select the white helix line and uh, from there we're gonna have something like this so we're gonna have something like this okay let's bring it back to this point from here let's use the boolean command let's make an intersection click on the intersection we select this first object then we select this second object and enter sorry for that pop up then if you're trying to obey it we're going to find something like this okay so our test staircase is completed so here you have a spiral staircase i hope that tutorial was helpful guys and uh, if you like you might add a hand raise so our next tutorial we are going to learn how to add a hand ray on a spiral stair thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel